Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Season 2, Week Number 7 of the Lion's Den League. We are back for yet another week of fun maps, I hope. Um, last week I finished 6th, so it's been pretty consistent so far throughout the season. I've been finishing between 6th and 10th basically every single week, which is, yeah, I mean, solid. I'll take it, given the quality of competition, but um, yeah, we'll see if we can bump that up this week, but uh, just looking to stay consistent like I have been, so... Let's get started with the moving map called Welcome to the Lion's Den League. I'm not sure what this is going to be theme-wise, but uh, let's let's see. Okay, Dominican Republic. Um, one of the hardest countries to pinpoint in the world, basically. So here we go. Uh, psychological something Jesus of Nazareth. Okay. Um, hmm. We have mountains, so should be Santiago. Um, Mundo Aquatico Park. Did we actually come from inside there? Like, is that okay? So there's some some kind of amusement park here, um, which might be usable. And then we have a large divided road. Uh, okay. The problem with the DR is that it's impossible to, like, ever find pieces of information that are actually useful enough. This could... Well, this is just going to point to every city in the country, so I don't really know what this does for me. Except, I guess, tells me that we're near the one, but... Uh, like, to me, we could be anywhere. I mean, I guess we'll go to the highway and see what it looks like. So, Centro Ciudad is east. And are we crossing over the one? I think we are. So, if the one is north-south here, that would put us... Huh? If a city center is east, wait, what? Are we on this road? Does that make sense? No, I'm not sure it does. Wait. Can I stay on top? This is confusing. Um, I hate the DR, man. Every round is like this. It, like, I feel like... Or are we on the one? I'm confused. Like, what road is which here? This is so weird. Maybe it is this. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to assume it's this. This doesn't feel exactly right, but whatever. Um, so it's east-west, off-road north, Helios is probably a POI, so... This is wrong, I think. This is surely wrong. Um, are we here? <sighs> now, that was not my finest moment. This, yeah, this makes perfect sense. I didn't see that. It was so far... Why was the city center to the east? <laughs> I guess it's because you go like all the way around or something, but that's so confusing. I was thinking we'd either be near the city center or west of it. So I wasn't looking here. That was that, that was so confusing it said city center east there, but um, that was a skill issue. Oh, nice. Mundo Aquatico was huge. What? Why is that such a big POI? <laughs> Okay, terrible start. Um, we don't talk about that round. We just move to the next one and hope it goes better. That was not good. And I don't know why I moved my pin at the last second. I just I saw another intersection that might fit, and I was like, well, since the first thing I found clearly doesn't fit, I may as well go for it. Um, can I get on the big road here? Because that would be really nice. Okay, that's just Kuka, so I can read that. I mean, Kukas is northeast Albania, which, wait, isn't it? Am I trolling? No, it's here, yeah. Uh, 
I can't get on the road, but... I mean... I guess we're on a road that goes towards Kukas. Maybe I can find... Yeah, maybe I can get to the highway this way. Looks like I can. Um, okay, it doesn't have a number or anything. But... We can check road angle and stuff if it'll let me go. So, that'll work. A160 to Kalimash. Kalimash is there. I guess we're on this road? Reshen is the exit. Reshen, Reshen. Oh dear god, is, is it ever this road? What is Reshen? Are you kidding me? It's the A1. It's a massive divided road. This doesn't feel like it can be that many things. But I don't know what Reshen is. This is the A1, so we're on this road. I just can't... I can't really tell distances, unfortunately. Where the hell is Reshen? This is really annoying. I, is there going to be a better piece of information here? There might be. Well, now I can't, I can't go up there because the car didn't freaking drive there. Okay, so I'm just going to have to try... Is it ever that? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's a river. Oh my god. I didn't see that. What the... Where is there a river? <laughs> ah! Um... Um, um, um... Oh my god. Oh my god, please? I missed it. Oh my god. Oh my god. How is that... What? Bro, how is that, like, 70 kilometers... How, why is Albania so small, dude? How is it that... How is it that far? Oh my god. Russian Again, Russian is huge. Wow, I am completely failing here. This is really bad. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. I didn't even consider that it could be that far southwest. That's crazy, man. Distances are weird. Okay. Wow, this is going really badly. And then now we have an Amman pinpoint. This is not... <laughs> Maybe it's not Amman. Maybe it's like Karak or something, but... Oh, boy. I am... Not liking the look of this so far. We Okay, Petra. It's probably Wadi Musa, then. Um, so let's try that. It's probably Wadi Musa. Let's check this road sign. Okay, it's all in Arabic. Great. Uh, the sign for Petra. I mean, you got, I think you have to go Wadi Musa. I'm just trying to pinpoint this. I, I feel like I'm right about the city. Um, so it's a T intersection. We come off southeast. And then it kind of curves straight south. And hits a big... Well, no. You go west, and then it hits a bigger road. This is still not easy, man. This is really not obvious. Bukhara restaurant. Is this the main road here? What is the main road here? This is confusing. Wow, I am not locked in right now. This is really bad. I'm just... I am not getting anything right now. This is... Oof. Um... Ah, 
god, wow, my brain is just like stagnant right now. What the hell? Dude, I'm so confused. No. Oh, is it, was it here though? Does this make sense? Wait, does this make sense ever? Because... Can this work? This actually feels pretty good. Wait, this actually feels pretty good. The roads don't have names in English, but... This actually, I think, is right. I don't even know how I found this. I guess, yeah, I was just trying to think of the shapes of the roads in my head, and I... I don't know, this looked right. I think this is right, yeah. Okay, that honestly wasn't that easy, so... I'll take it. I mean, one out of three is not good, but... You know, whatever. All I gotta do is take it round by round and do everything I can, so... Glad I got one of them. The Albania one was so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, where the heck are we here? Just some random town in Eswatini. Anything there? I feel like that just says Doctors Without Borders in Swahili or something. Or Mswati or whatever the language is here. Um... Latikulu could be a town. That sounds more promising. Hmm. Swaziland, Latikulu. Okay, it's not tiny. I mean, there's some buildings here. <laughs> Big enough that it might be on the map. It is on the map. So we're downtown, which would probably put us there. Which means we started south? See if I, did that say Maiman Singh? <laughs> what the heck? Um, I try and retrace my steps here. So we leave the town, and then there's a four way. There's an intersection. I think we're there right now. So if we started over this way, it's an intersection off north, just kind of straight. This, I mean, this is working so far. Where did we start? We were pretty close to here, I think. So it's a T intersection at the beginning. It's west northwest. It curves. Pretty significantly south, like southwest. Oh, and then it actually hits an intersection. So we were there. Uh, I don't know about this. I mean, I went west here, no? So... It comes off that way and it curves. So I guess it is this. Does it... Yeah. I think this fits. So at the start, we would have been... Here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Another one... Yeah, these are pretty tricky pinpoints. Um, there were a lot of 25Ks on this map, so I guess maybe they're not as hard as I thought. But, again, these feel like pretty tricky rounds. So, I'm, yeah, I'm okay with how I did in the last two, at least. Um, oh, God, really? Cambodia now? Man, not kidding around with the, uh, with the countries in this, in this map. Okay, I can't read Khmer, but looks like I won't need to. So it's straight east-west. We have signs for provinces. 
and the seven. So the seven is here, Kampong Cham is there, Tvung Mum is here. Kampong Siem Prechor. Prechor is there, but this is Kampong Cham, right? So why, why does it say Kampong Cham province if, if we're there? I don't know. Um, Phnom Penh, Batei. Yeah, Batei and Prechor. Batei is there. Are we in Skun? Because it doesn't say Skun anywhere. Oh, wait, let me. I didn't see that. Hold on. The six. We are in Skun, I think. So we're about to hit that roundabout. Okay, so if we're about to hit that roundabout, we came from uh, where? One of these off roads? This guy? Where th I don't even know where the off road was. I was there, I think. So. We go a couple of blocks, I guess, to get to the roundabout. So we must have started maybe on this intersection. Okay, so here we're at, I guess, a T intersection. I went to the north. It's kind of north northeast. Curves a little bit towards straight north, and then just goes and hits the main road. So it is this. So we should be at this intersection that comes off to the west, because if you go this way, it curves to the west, which fits. Three out of five. Uh, I'll take it. The Albania round was really bad. The DR round, I mean, the DR round I should have had, I just threw because I didn't think I should actually look for that POI, and that was clearly the right thing to do. Um, so the DR round, I am a little annoyed, but it's not that bad. The Albania round was simply bad, um, and I should not have ever missed that, but um, that's okay. I mean, a lot of people missing pinpoints naturally in the last few rounds, so I don't feel too bad about the performance there. Um, I mean, this guy got 24994, and he only got 15K, so <laughs> I mean, I'd feel probably a little more annoyed if that had happened. So, you know, Certainly was not my best performance, far from it, but, um, you know, I brought it back a little bit towards the end, so that's good. Map 2 is no move, Scotland. Plenty of 25Ks again, but the UK is a nightmare for me when it comes to, like, scanning for roads, and I assume that's what we're going to have to do, so I'm a little scared. Meaden, I think that's just Gaelic. Um, I don't think that's a town name or anything. Uh... Chalmers, Jules, live music. There's got to be something here. West Coast, okay. Pearl Oban Hotel. There is not much here, is there? Oban, that also says Oban. So Oban's probably the town. Um, so it said West Coast. Okay, Oban's here. Good. Uh, so where are we? We're on the water. At an intersection between roads that don't have names, but it says Chalmers, so that's probably findable. You'd think we're just on this road? Question mark? Wait, what? Hold on a damn second, why? Oh, I guess it is just that. So we're there. Yeah, Chalmers. Okay, it's just super far in. All right. One for one. Round two. Oh, goodness. We have some kind of thingy. I don't know what that is. Okay, I was not hoping for a completely infoless round, but that's what we're going to get. So I'm going to have to try and line this up. So we have... A lake, um, and there's a bridge to the east, so quite a big one. Um, I don't know if Loch Ness has any bridges. No, Loch Lomond or something, maybe. Could make a lot of sense. I don't know where you get bridges, though, man. Uh, this is kind of tricky. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of water to my west. It clearly is some kind of lake, and then there's a bridge east, so... 
Yeah, uh... I mean, where would you get a big bridge like that? Fourth bridge, something like that. Or Dundee. There's a few things. Yeah, again, like, does it, oh no, it's really just his land in all directions that I can see. It doesn't appear to open up or anything. Aberdeen doesn't have anything. Would you have a, ooh. Well, that isn't bad, is it? That really isn't that bad. Um, except we're not that close to the bridge, so it's not that. No. Man, there's too many damn bridges. There really are a lot of bridges. I don't I don't really know how to find this. Um Wow. I might just click closer to Edinburgh? No, I'll stay. Um, it was Inverness. So, I wait, I looked at that. What? I literally looked at that. Okay, just a skill issue then. Sure. Okay, that's not very easy. I, I guess I just failed that, but it didn't really, uh, jump out at me, so. Sure, I guess. Um, Edinburgh, okay. Mm, did we really not get anything else? Really? Wow. That's brutal. Um, road is north. Oh, it does say A8 on the road. I did not see that. So, I guess we're close to the A8. Where the hell is the A8? <laughs> no, you gotta be kidding me. Where's the A8? Do my eyes not work? Hello? Is it the M8? What? A8. What? Okay. Park and ride. It's north south. A8 is just south of me. I don't understand. English to park and ride? Ever? Something like this? Curse to the west. Are we at the airport? Is that why it's park and ride? Oh, well, yeah. Um, I still don't know where we are, though. Or where the A8 is, for that matter. Maybe we are just at the top of that thing. I don't see Ingliston anywhere, but, like, this could work, couldn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm getting anything better than this, so I'm just going to go with that. That works. Okay, that was honestly... So I don't know what the heck a park and ride is. Like, is this... I guess it's an airport thing. But what does that mean? Is it like a rental car thing? Is it does the US have this and I'm just a, an idiot or do like I don't I don't actually know what this like what the purpose of this is. This is probably an indication that it's the airport, but I like that yeah. That's just not <laughs> that's not what my first thought was. So it took me uh it took me a while. I mean, I got lucky that I'd zoomed into it. Um Invery is five away. We have Perth 49. So Perth is knowable. I'm not going to remember where the hell it is, but I know it exists somewhere. There it is. So we're probably in the Cairngorms or something. Invery, what's that? Bla Blair or something? Blair Gallery. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, okay, Invery. Okay, so we're definitely in here. Probably Braemar. Under renovation, sure. Fire station, Castleton Place. Yeah, probably we're in here. Castleton Place is right there. And this is correct, good, okay. All right, three for four, that's fine. Okay. 
A9 thankfully actually does exist. Uh, Inverness Thurso is up there. Okay. Um, unfortunately, that's all we get. Okay, well, unless... I, I can't quite read that properly, so I'm not going to try. North-South, nothing visible. I still read some. I mean, we're not right on the coast, but otherwise this is really not easy. Uh, I might try this stretch up here. What does that say? Does it does it ever say? Yeah, Atra Vanich. Is that not what that says? That might be what it says. It's it's hard to tell, but um, yeah, that might not be bad. Oh, this fits perfectly, actually. Yeah, this should be right. Nice. Okay. Well, honestly, four out of five is not that bad on that map. I feel like that was decently tricky. Um, I guess I'm just garbage for missing round two, but again, four out of five, five Ks is pretty good. Um, because again, a lot of people missed a couple of pinpoints. So again, it's probably not as bad as it looks. It still could have been better, maybe should have been better, but I've also had worse. So yeah, again, pretty cool map. Blitz, no move, two minutes once again. Trivial locations, I don't know what exactly that means, but uh, let's do it. Mur something, Mururin. Um, it's Faroe Islands with water south. Uh, this might not be that easy. This very much might not be easy. I mean, we have like, uh, you can try and line the land up here. It's just hard to, oof, it's kind of hard to tell. Is it ever, wait, no, I don't think that works. Oh, this is, uh, this is not obvious. I. I struggle a lot with rounds like this. And we do have land to the south, so... I don't know what this Mururin thing is. I, like, is that the town? Oh, it's this, no? Yes, nice. Okay, it actually wasn't a town name, but the, the coast lined up with the map. I struggle so much with those line-up-the-map type rounds, but... Thankfully, I got this one. So I guess this is the church here. The Kirkubumurin or whatever. And then... So we should just be like at the... I mean, we're here. It's a world map, so it's, it's fine. Good. Okay. Very cool location. Baldwin Street. It's okay. I mean, we should probably stop reading about it. Um, Dunedin is the info that I need. Uh, it's not a very big street, though, is it? It's kind of northeast, looking northwest. I don't know which one Baldwin actually is. It's really cool, though. Um, oh, is the world's steepest street? No shot. That's so sick. Um, okay. Well, that's why it's called Trivial World or whatever. Uh... I'm still not going to find it, though. Baldwin, are we here? Oh, but this is like the coast. It needs to be hilly. Where is it hilly? This doesn't look bad here. Maybe it's a POI. Oh, that... <laughs> yeah, it's a POI. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. I guess we're just at the end of it. World's steepest red... Wow. So it's steeper than San Francisco, huh? Impressive. Because um, <laughs> I've seen some real steep streets in San Francisco, but this one must have them beat. Okay, so the road curves that away when you go there. It should just be this. I don't see what other spot we could be at. So, Okay. Um, well, now I'm interested what the uh, what the first round was. What was the trivia about that one? Someone have to let me know in the comments. Good lord. Is this just like 
Does this just have the world record for like the most cringe highway sign of all time? Like, what the hell is this crap? <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> 123, 301. Oh my god, this is terrible. 23 is there, although. State routes 4, 15, 23. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh my god, it feels like we're down here somewhere. Oh, this is horrendous. What? It's so. Why is it so many highways? Herschel Stokes Memorial Overpass. Like, there's no actual info here, so this is. I mean, there is, obviously, but, like. You know what I mean? <laughs> um. Good god. How am I supposed to know which of the roads it is? It's, it's everything at once. Um. I don't have a town name. There's, like, there's a Burger King. It's the 1, it's the 301, it's the 23, it's freaking everything. Bro, this is so insane. I don't know... I can't, I can't keep this straight, there's too many numbers. 4, 23, 121, 15. The 15 is here. This is awful. It is, it might be here. There's a Burger King. I think I found it. My god, I'm gonna have to go in here and inspect this afterwards. That was horrible. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well actually, okay. So we had, how many of these roads were actually marked? Like, we have the 301, which is, so the 23 is there. The 1 is the same as the 301, but it's not... Yeah, so the 1 is this road. It's also the State Route 15 and the State Route 4. This is... This is ridiculous. I know I complain about when in Europe you're trying to pinpoint the city and you have a street name, and the street name changes every freaking block, because, like, for some reason they can't decide what the street is called. But this... This is <laughs> this is arguably worse. <laughs> the the US highway system where like one road can be like that many highways is just really dumb. <laughs> um so around like that feels like it should be easy, but it is not. Um So yeah, that must have been world record for most cringe assortment of highways in the world. Um this is going to be longest tunnel in the world, probably. Uh, it looks like it says five, but it's kind of hard to read. Um, but I guess I can look for a five. But I don't really... Oh, here's a five. Uh, so we're looking for the Lardals Um Lardals Tunnelen. And I guess we're along the five, so I don't know how far the five goes, but I guess I can just scan for a tunnel. Well, this Lardel, oh, Lardel is here, so that's what I want. Jesus. So this entire thing is a tunnel. Good lord. That is an, yeah, that is an engineering marvel if I've ever seen one. My god. How do you eat? How is it even possible to build a tunnel that long? That's crazy. Wow. That's wild. Anyway, cool location. Uh, we are basically at the intersection, so just like, yeah, like here. Very cool. Okay, 20k, and we are now in Thailand. The narrowest part of Thailand. That is another very cool idea for a location. So surely that would put us here somewhere, right? Unless I'm missing another... No, I mean, we have to be talking about this. So... It just says the narrowest part of Thailand. Um, okay, it's just a POI then. Uh, so we'll be on... Why is this road this angle, though? 
We have to be here, no? What? This? No. What's this road angle? Hello? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, wh what else could be the narrowest part of Thailand? Oh, this! Oh, tricky. <laughs> Very tricky. Oh my goodness. Uh, there was water west. I didn't see that. <laughs> that would have helped. Um, okay. Well, yeah, very tricky. That is, in fact, narrower. Uh, wait, what, is, what the heck is the pinpoint? Hold on. You go south and it curves west. I guess we're here at this POI. I'm just worried about, like, this POI. Because that's narrower. <laughs> Eat cannabis. <laughs> what? Uh, anyway, we should, I think, be at this part. Um, wait a sec. Why are there roads to the west? Oh, dear God. Am I wrong? Is it ever this? I'm going to switch it. You idiot. You idiot. You absolute moron. There were no off-roads. Why were there no off-roads? Where were the off-roads? There's no roads, man. There was an off-road. You just couldn't see it. Why did I do that? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it was the same road angle and it was the same curve. So I feel like I can be excused for that. But also, like, click the POI. Duh. Like, what are you doing? Oh my god, I cannot believe I just did that. Yeah, and obviously everyone else got it, because, like, duh, click the POI. Like, what are you doing? Okay, that was horrendous. <laughs> that was... I mean, I don't, know, I don't know what the heck I'm doing there, but... Whatever, I played well for the most part. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, what was the Faroe Islands thing? Uh... Huh? Was it the longest, like, undersea tunnel or something? Or, like, the oldest church or something? Uh, yeah, y'all are gonna have to let me know. I'm not sure what that one is, but... Oh, my God. What a choke on the Thailand. <laughs> oh, my God. That was bad. Okay, architecture and NPZ is guaranteed to go terribly. So, let's, uh... Let's just get this out of the way. <laughs> um, okay. Am I supposed to know what part of South Africa I'm in based off the architecture? I mean, that kind of looks like a traditional hut. This thing on the right of the screen, which is like something you see in Lesotho, Eswatini, and South Africa, and Botswana, so it's like, I don't really know how that helps me, but um, I want to say that pole over there is like a northeast pole, general northeast pole, and it's quite green. I honestly want to click Pretoria here. Like, this doesn't seem that distinctive to me. I think it's green enough that maybe east of Pretoria is better than going north or west of it, but I mean, who the heck knows? I'll just click here. What? Okay. Uh, sure. I did not think that pole was found down there, but whatever. What? Okay. Yeah, I thought that pole was a here thing. Why is that pole down there? Okay, that's fun. Um, <laughs> whatever. This looks like Portugal to me. I almost want to say it's like, I don't know about Braganza, but it should be north, I think north Portugal. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go northeast, but... I don't really know why. It could just as easily be like Braga. Um, I think Braga is a safer send. I'll just click here, I guess. Uh, what? Why is that just in the middle? Okay. <sighs> and again, that makes sense. It just looks north. Like, <laughs> I guess you're rewarded for clicking middle on that one, but... I don't know, man. The vibes were north. Don't know what to say. Um... Okay, I need to make sure I get the country right here because this is not actually that obvious. I guess it's just India. I mean, 
What am I supposed to be noticing about the architecture, though? Is it... Could it be Goa? Is it, like, Portuguese-influenced or something? I don't know. None of this looks particularly Portuguese, to be quite honest. To me. It's just some old city. I mean, I guess it's just India. Screw, what have I got to lose? I mean, I don't have a better guess than this, so... Yeah, whatever. Rajasthan. Uh, okay. Like, is there architecture meta for Rajasthan? How the heck am I supposed to know that's Rajasthan? Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe like this sort of light-colored buildings or something? I, I don't know. I don't know what the heck I'm doing, man. Okay, uh... Okay, just try and get the country right, I guess. Is this Mexico? I almost thought the, like, mud break architecture felt more like Peruvian, but the, I'm pretty sure the electricity counter is Mexican, so... I think you just go Mexico, and I don't have a very specific guess. I'm just going to click here near CDMX here. That will work well enough. And this is where I do get the country wrong. Uh, wow, I don't know. I have not... Wait, what? That plate almost looks double blue, but that's weird. That... That doesn't... That, I feel like I shouldn't trust that. Is this ever Turkey, or is that insane? No, the building, though. Is the building ever Turkish? I'm really confused. I, this pole... Like, I feel like I've never seen this pole in my life. I have no idea what the pole is. Um... And the... What the heck is the building doing? Why do I feel like this could be Turkey? But the building doesn't feel Turkish. <laughs> Uh, screw it. I once again I don't have a better guess. So it's actually it's reset. Wow, what? That's nuts. Are you kidding me? There wasn't tea plantations or anything. I don't think so. Wow. I mean, at least I got the country. That honestly was not obvious. Uh, I should have clicked um, more east, I guess. But I was kind of hedging for the rest of Europe, to be quite honest. That was not an easy round. I guess I'm yeah, I'm happy enough to get the country there. That was not easy. Um, I think my overall score is pretty good. My round by round score, maybe less so. Um, the India was rough, and everyone else just clicked the middle of India, like everybody. So I definitely trolled that by going Goa for no real reason at all. Um, but again, at least I figured out it was Mexico, and my plonk wasn't bad. The Turkey wasn't bad because most people it looks like missed the country. Um, or at least many did. And then the Za was unfortunate, but... Uh, wow, okay. Really looks like everyone was just closer there. I... Yeah, I guess that, that's just a bad landscape guess. I don't know what to say. Okay, well that was not my finest performance. That might be outside of top 10. Um, if I had to guess, I'm more likely to be like 11, 12, 13 than I am to be like 6 or 7, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably not too different from my performances so far. I've definitely played better than that in the past, but um, it was another fun set of maps. I especially liked the uh, the third map, the whole world record whatever type things was super interesting. Totally trolled the tie round at the end, but um, <laughs> yeah, another fun set of maps. Really good difficulty, I think, uh, across the board. So yeah, that's about all I have, but uh, thank you all, as always, for watching and playing. Uh, I guess I will see you in a second for a, a recap of, of how my week actually ended up going. But uh, yeah, thanks, and until then. Okay, back for a quick recap of week number seven. Did not go that well. Um, honestly, I thought I was going to be like 10th to 15th or something, and I ended up 23rd, so I did not have a very good sense for how well I did. Um, yeah, kind of just messed up a little bit on each of the maps, basically. Um, none of them were particularly terrible, but none of them were perfect either. So uh, yeah, that did cost me uh, very good performances across the board. And um, 
Thank you to the 155 who played this week. I think that's up from previous weeks, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, another fun set of maps, of course. Thank you, as always, to the mappers. Uh, we can take a look at the overall standings. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. These actually haven't... Uh, these haven't updated. Wait. Huh, there are no scores in, apparently, from week 8 yet. Okay. Well, that actually means that these are accurate as of now. Um, so I'm fourth in the league, which I will take. Um, Malfunction, the winner of season one, is in second. And Anna in third, who I believe was third in season one when I was second. So familiar faces, but we've got Blinky with a very solid lead in first place. Um, yeah, I mean, Blinky doing Blinky things, although it is kind of honestly surprising that Blinky's played all seven weeks because most of the time with leagues like this, he kind of just plays some weeks and doesn't play others. We'll see if that continues, but um, I mean, I'm glad he's enjoying the league enough to, to play it consistently. Um, and yeah, thanks to everyone playing all these weeks. Really appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the maps as much as I am. So that's going to do it for week number seven. I will see you in a week, of course, for week number eight. But uh, yeah, until then.